Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> go to go to his lab. His lab oh, going viral. Goodness, man. He done been quiet for his whole. How, how long Kawhi Leonard been in the league? Like, uh, shoot, 11, 2011. So Kawhi Leonard, how you spell that boy name? Uh, w. It started with it. No, K A W H I. The, okay, the yeah. Leonard lab. First thing that come he up. Yeah, clown. Hold on. You done been quiet all these years now all of a sudden you... And what would you like people to know about you? <laughs> um... Hold on. You got to wait for that. I'm a that. fine guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Um, I mean, there's just more questions you have to ask me. Um, he been quiet. For me to tell you about myself. This whole off -season. I just can't give you a whole spill. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> Go back. Right no, Go back. I just can't give you a whole spill. Lord have mercy. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> you don't been quiet all your career, bro. Why are you talking now? Me to tell you about myself. Do it again. I just can't give you a whole spill. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even no boy I can talk. You know what I mean? He, he just need to shut him play ball. You yeah. know what I mean? Just shut him play ball. For yeah. real, for real, man. You know, um... Yeah, man. Yeah. He got game though at the yep. end of the day. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it much up at um in Toronto. Toronto by himself. He should have went to try to go to LA. But he was yeah. it a trade? He was it was a trade, right? He wanted to go to the Clippers though. Because a lot of people are afraid to play with LeBron because of expectations. Like he, he's an arrogant guy. Yeah, and right and, so. And like the fact that LeBron usually take care of his business. Mm -hmm. So if you let they be like you let LeBron down, you then like mm -hmm. so it's a lot of pressure playing with somebody of LeBron. Well, right for this own. Yeah, it is. Because he I mean he take he pretty much in the at the conference finals every year, regardless of yeah. like, what team. They say he's been in conference finals forever. For, yeah. Since the, he yeah, yeah pretty right much, for the Yeah. So I, I I think with him is that expectation is legitimate. Yeah. Sometimes your personality like I don't I don't think Kawhi Leonard's personality is cut out to play with a LeBron. And they said um Kobe was like that. Yeah. Some Michael people. Jordan was like, yeah. I think people who are really good at what they do are very demanding. Yeah. And they have to be because yeah. they're demanding of themselves. Yeah. So you cannot demand something from other people that you don't first demand of you. Yeah. So if the LeBron demands excellence, it's because he requires it of himself. Yeah. You know, I'm fine with it. You know, but the thing about LeBron is that he always surrounds himself with role players. Yeah. Because he want to be the facilitator. Yeah. And I think with Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard is in that stage of wanting to be a star. I think so. But I don't think he's star caliber. Yeah, his personality is not a star. Exactly. I think he got bigger than he anticipated. Exactly. Like, he was wanting to be a defensive specialist and play defense yeah. and, like, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, type right, 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 right. And then he got real good and, like, Too oh, Lord, like, Lord have mercy. Like, no, yeah. I didn't I, I, I don't think, I don't, I don't think he's, um, he's like Carmelo. Because I don't think Carmelo's a true star, point blank period. I don't, I remember yeah. when he came out of Syracuse. I don't think he got star power. Yeah. I really don't. Like, I just, yeah. Carmelo, to me, is a role player yeah. on the team. He like Tim Duncan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, on the court, he's a beast. Well, when he want to be. But Tim Duncan was a beast. But it's a star, man. It's, 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 they got an aura about him. Listen. Man. Listen. I'm going to tell you something about a star. Yeah. A star will revitalize a city. Yeah. LeBron revitalized Cleveland. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been in that vicinity up there. <laughs> yeah. It ain't much going on. In Cleveland, yep. it ain't much going on in that whole uh, LeBron revitalized that city. Yeah. So that's what stars do. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Um. Kobe and um. Los Angeles. Kobe a legitimate star. Yeah. He's a legitimate star. star. Stars got a like Michael Jordan in your era. He's like, a star. You got people who mm -hmm. um, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson too. Mm -hmm. They carried the league in the eighties, yeah. like when the yeah. league was tainting, like they carried the Bad league. Bird stuff. was a star. Yeah. Um stars. Yeah. It ain't many been it's not it has not been many genuine stars. Superstars. Super like, that, I think that's the correct word. Yeah. Superstars. I don't yeah. think stars is the right word. I think superstar is the word. I think yeah, use. I think star is being really good at basketball. Yeah. Right? Random. That's yeah. just that's good as that's above me yeah. and you. Yeah. Like ten steps. Yeah. But superstar is Ten steps above. Them. Yeah, I, I can play basketball, but I can handle yeah, like the yeah. pressure and the superstar. Yeah, superstar. Yeah. So that's that's the word, right? That superstar, and that's the that's the difference. Because I think stars can win championships, but superstars 
can win championships. They can revitalize town. They have the number one selling jersey. Yeah. They fill the seats and blah, blah, blah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like Steph Curry. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think he's a superstar. <laughs> I think he's a star. You know what I mean? But yeah. superstar is like a big deal. Yeah. That's a big who so who are the top five players you've seen in your lifetime? In my lifetime? Yeah. Now I don't watch basketball now, but I do like LeBron. Um like I do, growing up or just anything. When I grew up, Michael Jordan was the man. Yeah. He Michael Jordan was the man. Now, but the good thing about when we grew up, it it people didn't um load up teams. You couldn't do that. Yeah. So it was talent. Like and and another thing, I got two things. We had true big men. Big man, yeah. They had big men. You had Shaquille O'Neal, you had Patrick Ewan, mm -hmm. you had Akil, uh, Elijah Wan, you had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you had Robert Parrish. You literally had big men that yep. played big. Mm -hmm. They didn't go out on the wing on some Dirk Nowinski type stuff like, what are you doing? He yeah. out here pulling up, taking a J. You know, so you had big men. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think that's what has happened with the lead, the death of the big man. What's that big boy name? Um, Dwight, he just, what's the big, big the Dwight Howard? No, 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 the big boy, um. Joel and B. Name a big boy, the big man who played big. Somebody was just you was you were telling me he played big. Cousin, not last name. Demarcus cousin. cousin. Is it Demarcus cousin? Yeah. He big man. Yeah, big man. Yeah, see, he played big. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not many guys that play big. He a post up. Yeah, he a post up. So when I came up, we had um, teams and we had rivalries. Yeah. So right now the league is just it's been second team. It's been Cleveland and Golden State. Yep. That's been the league. Yep. Now the championship go through the West. The East is dead. Yeah. Like, it's done. The yep. East is done. And, 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 and that's unfortunate. That's yep. unfortunate that it's allowed to do that. I'm so got to put a stop. Yeah, there. it's unfortunate, man. Because when we came up, when I came up, you had Dominique Wilkins in Atlanta. You had Michael Jordan in Chicago. You had Larry Bird in Boston. You had Magic Johnson yep. in, in, in L.A. And then, not even that, you had to go between, like, Clyde Drexler, you had Terry Porter, you had um, uh, um, Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumas. You had just regular teams of decent, really good, talented guys. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you want to win a championship, did Cousins go to um go to State? Yeah, he went to Golden State. See, that's what I'm saying, man. That like they, ain't... Started, they started five as an all-star. That's crazy, man. Yep. That's an Olympic team. Yeah, Olympic team. That's an Olympic team, all man. Gold that is ridiculous, man. And, yeah. and and it's killing the league. Like, as a fan, why would I even want to go sit and watch the Hawks play? Because yeah. in actuality, I don't care how good the Hawks do unless half of Golden State get beat or LeBron, some, half of Golden State get hurt or LeBron, they not going to beat them. Yeah. Let's just be real. Yeah, it's not. They yeah, not. and then you got Camelo in Houston now. Houston. James Harden, Chris Paul, uh, Carmelo. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. The whole talent pool has went to the West Coast. Yeah, and he's just stacking up teams and stuff. Yeah, so that's not, that's not even That's right. not sustainable. Like, I, I promise you, they're going to make some. Have to. They're going to make some adjustments. Just, they have to. Financially, they it's have not to. Beneficial. And that's what the salary cap is for. Yeah. The salary cap helps people from, prevents that. But dudes be taking, you, DeMarcus Cousins took like $5 million. Mm -hmm. like that, that's a dude who worthy of $200 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took $5 million to play for. This is shot at Yeah, getting, um, a, championship. a championship. So, yeah. like, play at a star and say, forget. Because they make so much money off the court. Dumb money. Yeah, back then, like. Yeah, they didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. so you had, the bulk of your money came from your NBA salary. The bulk of their money come from sponsorship right. deals and stuff. So, they like, man, I take a $5 million deal knowing I make it up with Nike or somebody, you know, yeah. giving them an organization. Yeah, I don't even watch basketball. I watch the final. I'm a fake fan, like, straight yeah. up. I don't watch basketball. I'm trying my best not to watch football this year, but I'm sneaking, listening to it. Yeah. Um, baseball, I don't really watch that, but if the Braves go to the World Series, I will be an Atlanta Braves. <laughs> da, 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 da. You better <laughs> believe that. I'm talking about going to be ripping with the Braves, everything. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I, personally, personally, I just feel like I got too many other things to be doing in my life than dedicating. I'm not knocking nobody, though. Yeah. I know people who are fans, and I was a true sense of a fanatic. Yeah. Like, I just don't have time to be. Yeah. You know, I talk to people, like, I talk to you, you be knowing stuff. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's good, right? <laughs> uh, you know, because ain't no way. Now, I do listen and I ride back and forth to work. I get a lot of my information from 929 the game. Yeah. You know, hashtag Dukes and Bell. <laughs> shout out, shout out Dukes and Dukes Bell. Dukes and Bell, you know, but, uh, yeah, so I do that. But, um, yeah, man, I just, you know, yeah. I, I, I like to text them, though. 
I text him. Back in the day, they, well, a couple years ago, they used to let Dukes and Bell them text back and forth with you. So Mike Bell would respond. Carl Dukes would say something, but Mike Bell would respond back and forth with you. So that was that was cool. Now they don't respond, so I mm -hmm. lost my interest. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I like going back and forth with them. They got too big. <laughs> no, I don't think. I think CBS, because that's who owned them. I right. think CBS, they can't do that. Like, it's, it is a business, regardless of how good it is. Like, you would not be texting nobody. And yep. then, because he got caught up in some stuff, too. So, yep. yeah, man. But, um, Keep it strictly professional. Point blank, period. Point yep. blank, period. But, um, exactly. Yeah, man. That's, um, that's, um, um, my thing. Look, um, did you, did you get a chance to listen to the Call to Five? Nah, I ain't. I listen. look for it. I can't find it. Yeah, I got I, I, I want to hear what all the hoopla is about, um, point blank, period, just to see what it's all about. Um, uh, one thing about Google, um, they be like it don't never Spotify have it. Yeah. But Google take it always come out the next day on Google. Like yeah, like come I think um I think um labels be in like cahoots with certain like platforms. So mm -hmm. like with um like for example um Drake mm -hmm. like Apple Music like his stuff come out first on Apple Music or mm -hmm. like Ti and Title like Tidal, Tidal. I think certain things like be cool with um. Yeah, they yeah without a doubt, but still though, from a fan standpoint, you know the bet. Yeah, you, know, you got to get your stuff yeah, off. As, as an artist, that's what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. As an artist, you want to get your stuff in the hands of the consumer. Exactly. You know, and you that ain't sustainable, man. That that have something you don't. So, really, yeah. so I got a week. Oh, yeah, God. and that's what Kanye when his complaints were with Jay Z. I'm like. Come on, man. Like, y'all playing games. My fans can't get my stuff because you want to hold it hostage. You going back and forth with Apple and it. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, so I don't know the business in and out of it. But, you know, I think the game getting back towards cats just selling their stuff on a YouTube yeah. page. What you think about Kanye going back to Chicago? He crazy. <laughs> um, I it just, just, I was Kanye. He Kanye. I don't know. Kanye fanatic. Doing. I don't know. What he's doing. I ain't on fanatic now. Man. But I did. Now, when I worked the third show, I ain't going to lie, man. When I worked the third show, man, Kanye. That college dropout album, boy, I used to be like, yeah, Woo, that's man. one that my perspective of Kanye West is the Kanye of now, that, like yeah, the crazy Kanye, yeah, the Kanye who uh, lost you know, his mind, yeah, uh, stuff that's yeah. off them the wall. Got stuff. married, them girl, them messed with that girl and that girl just done <laughs> drove him crazy. Kardashian, yeah, the the, the Kardashian curse, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Kardashian, yeah, yeah I kill, yeah. yeah. But look, on some real talk, what I think about him, man, it's unfortunate with him because his whole his mama. Yeah, he, I don't think he ever got over that. Yeah, I think I don't think so either. Everybody swooped in because you know what happened is I believe his mom was like a gatekeeper for him. She kind of like balanced him. Yeah, a filter for him. Yeah, and when he lost it, he he lost that because he seemed like a very mentally fragile individual. Yeah, so um, him going back to Chicago, um, he seemed gullible. Like yeah, he'll, and he he's not, swayed, yeah. but he should not be. Yeah, he grew up in Chicago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you grew up in Chicago and you gullible, like, unless you grew up in uh, one of them high rises downtown or something, I don't know. But yeah. uh, if you grew up in Chicago and you gullible, that's some other stuff. But I don't know. But you know, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like he got mental health issues, man. Yeah. I feel like he got mental health issues, man. But I would like the real Kanye back, the one who say Joe Bush don't like yeah. black people. Yeah. Kanye, that's yeah. the Kanye. Yeah, the Cause then he will make music. Um, for the people. Yeah. And it wasn't music just for, I don't know what the last albums was. I got off some, like, seven, um, seven tracks. I, I guess it was an EP. No, nah, he had two. He had Ye Yeezy, I think it's Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had another one called Kid See Ghost. Him and Kid Cudi yeah. released that, right? And. I ain't listen to that. They only both had one song on that piece that I like. Mm -hmm. That I would like. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it was okay. You know, but you ain't gonna like it. I ain't already tell you. Like, yeah. it's some soulful rendition of some stuff. Yeah. It was all right, man. He just, he just, I, I, he he need to be away from them people. Everybody <laughs> who go in that household come out a skeleton of what they. That's true. Yeah. Look at Lamar Odom. Like, yeah. everybody who went in that house come out a skeleton of what they went in at. Yeah. So he just need to get away from them people. Yeah, that's what they always say. The Kill Kardashian up. curse. Kardashian, he need to get away from them people and he need to get back. Chicago ain't gonna do it if he's still attached to that old witch crap they got going on over there. Them some witches. I don't care what nobody said. Them girls witches, y'all. For real, man. Them yep. girls got folk running around here. I'm like, what have they ever done? And they not just the finest girls ever. They nice looking women, but you yep. can find nice looking women anywhere. Yeah. And I hear people, man, I want, I'm gonna I'm sleep with a Kardashian. What? 
Yo. Like, what's the deal? Yo. I mean, there's some witchcraft going on. I don't care. <laughs> they got some stuff going on. Yeah, they got some witchcraft going on. Yeah, man. He, he, I hope he, I truly do, man. I was upset with him when he made the statement. Um, um, but he, the stuff he's been saying. Yo. You know, but I hope he bounced back because he got a talent. Yo. You know, he not a leech. Uh, and leeches are people who leech out people with talent. Yo. So, yo. Uh, that's man. That's been a, um, to stay along the lines of hip hop and stuff like the mumble rap mm. of this era versus oh, like man, come on. Yeah. Let me be honest with you though. Yeah. No joke, no hate. Some of that stuff do be grooving though. Like yeah. you can say whatever you a cats in my area they're gonna say, I like I got friends, no man, I like them lyrics. If you're just trying to work out, right? Exactly. exactly. The me goals a go. That's that's what I always say, yeah. like different eras, like before like the nineties hip hop or like 80s and maybe late 70s or whatever. How it was fun. You, yeah. It was about parties. And you put the boom box on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You having parties and you had the little, right, um, right. the little, what you call it? The bucket hat on yeah, yeah, yeah. and like Adidas fit. Like it was that era. Like it was having, it was a party time. Important. Then Big and them, Tupac come out. The 90s came gangster music. Yeah, that's gangster rap. I think mm -hmm. this era is more about melanizing and it, it just sound good. Like, One thing I like about this era. I ain't gonna lie, the dances. Dances, yeah. That's the, the dances. Thing. Cause when I came up, we used to have people. They used to have dance routines. Yeah. Like they used to go to the club and they have guys dancing against each other. Yeah. Like they were break dancing in the hood. Man, I used to love that man. I ain't lying, man. When them boys just come through, it always be some dude come through. He got this big ready. He cut it on boom. He got some cardboard and he will lay it out. And then they just start break dancing. Yeah. I was a little boy, so yeah. I born in '77, so in like the '80s, I'm a boy. Like I'm, but I was out there, so I'm. Back then, your kids can hang out, you know. Yeah. So, them boys, I said, love that man. When I see them boys walking up with their radio, he'll sit it down, press play, throw the cardboard out, and they'll start break dancing and they'll start doing anything. So I liken that to now because they lost that in the '90s because everybody yep. was so gangster. Yeah, gangster tough. Yeah, yeah tough. When nobody gangsters yep. don't dance. Yep. All they do is this. Gangsters look standing. Look, everybody standing went from dancing with yep. the girls to looking yep. hard on the walls. So that's one thing I like about this era. This era, the dances. I love that. I watch a lot of dancing videos. I always say history repeats itself. All the way over. Yep. Look at the clothes. The yep. clothes. The hair. Um. The haircuts, yeah. You know, I never thought I'd live to see that. Like, yeah. Somebody told me that before. Like, an older guy said, "Yeah, man, all this stuff gonna go right back around again." Yeah. So now I see young guys. I was someone I see a guy with a box, and it's the same stuff. Yeah. It's definitely. the same stuff. So hip hop now. So who are some of your favorite artists of today? Now, yeah. I'm still throwback. Like I still like Ti. I like Ti. Ain't no shame. I like Ti. I like um. That boy Translee. Translee. Oh yeah, Leezy. Charlamagne posted them on his Instagram. I like Translee. Like, he he can say whatever they want to. Translee is the truth. I like Big Crit. I like Translee, Big Crit. Um, Translee, Big Crit. Um, T.I. Um, damn, man. Just yeah. that, most of my music I listen to is in the gym. Yeah. If I'm in the gym, if it can like come on and just go in and I can just work through work it. it. Yeah. And um, Cardi B come on, I can yep. work through it. Yeah, that's what I like. So, yeah. but it, all the cats in my area be tripping, man. Yeah. Like, like we be tripping, man. Like, yeah. My, I don't like garbage. Yeah. What you consider garbage? Um, <laughs> what's a rapper you heard and you was like, this is complete garbage? I probably didn't let it make it past the um, <laughs> like he flowing.